All right, hello everybody. This is Axel99. Welcome back to another first play on launch day. This is Tekla, guys, and it is brought to us by Phantom Touch. It is their first title on Steam. Congratulations to the indie developer Phantom Touch for you know launching the first game on Steam, guys. I don't think people understand what an amazing feat like just finishing an indie game, finishing your game, is much less launching it on Steam. I guarantee you, even with as many indie games that come out every day on Steam. I guarantee you, like, well more than 90% of people who ever get a game idea, who start coding a game, never even finish it, much less launch it. So this is a huge step for any indie developer to launch the first game. And it's got to feel good. Guys, we've seen the same kind of game many, many times since the Vampire Survivors launched about a year ago, I think it was. Uh, this, when you look at the gameplay here, it looks a lot like Vampire Survivors, except you're shooting a gun here. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. I typically like these kind of games and you have your upgrades So you typically you collect the little orbs or whatever they drop and you get enough of those little orbs and you can upgrade uh, Between three random choices. These games are a lot of fun. This game comes in at only $1.99 It is early access, which means it's probably only going to get better it Doesn't have any user reviews right now at this point. Yep, so this will be this game's first review and uh, I've liked a lot of these games over the past uh, few weeks that we've played the past couple months uh some of them i haven't liked so we're going to find out if tecla is worth your two dollars and we're going to do that right after this All right, everybody, welcome back. I have launched the game, and this is what we have. I have Addie, my good friend, with me here, and she is going to help me review this game from her side. Uh, she's a pretty big gamer, and I think that's why we get along so very well. Uh, she also tends to like a lot of the same kind of games that I do, and we share that for sure. Hi, Addie. Hello. All right, so guys, I've already went into the settings. I've already turned my screen shake down, my SFX volume, my sound effects volume down. A little bit my music volume down a little bit more let's let's increase that just a little bit um and for those of you guys that are 4k lovers you'll probably be pretty pleased to know this two dollar game does allow you to go into 4k resolution i am not that rich yet so i still just got the standard 1920 by 1080 hey this is a uh this is a good monitor for me like i've never had any kind of monitor like this i'm sure it's great but maybe one day maybe one day Maybe if I, uh, you guys sub to me and subscribe to me here on YouTube and tell all your family and friends about my YouTube channel and uh, you guys all subscribe to me and then that word of mouth just keeps going, then maybe one day I'll leave a little 4 to 4K monitor, but hey, I guess that's probably pretty likely. <laughs> all right. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this game. All right. So we start here on this little landing pod, it looks like. Shows me how long I've lasted. Okay. What do you think, Addy? What do you what do you think about what you're seeing? Oh god. I think it's it looks fun. Like you were saying before, the graphics look nice. Yeah, the graphics always look at the trailer and the graphics definitely look clean. They even look more clean now playing it right now. So it looks like I can dodge by hitting shift. I can jump out of the way, but there's a cooldown here. Yeah, you see the cooldown down here. Ah. Oh, it's hurting you. Yeah, I got 20 health left. Okay. <laughs> you like how I tell you, oh, it's hurting you? Like you didn't know. Saying. Ah, I was trying to hit that barrel, but. Oh, uh, what is that? What is that? Okay. You died. I, I didn't even make it a minute, Addy. Oh my gosh. All right, let's try that again. You got so, to do it again. It's addictive enough to want to play it again do that. Like, you're not going to want to play it one time without wanting to try to do better. That almost looks like a bolt. Look, it looks like a bolt up here, too, that I'm picking up. Yeah. I was thinking it was gold, but then it does look like a bolt. Which would make sense, because it's kind of robots. Yeah, that makes sense. What yeah, I you... want to know is, is it really a cat? Are we just calling it a cat, and it's not a cat? Yeah, maybe. It... Oh! Oh! <laughs> I almost blew myself up, I think. Okay. Go, get back, get back. 
So one thing to note here, guys, you can fire by just holding the left mouse button down. You don't have to spam it, which is nice. You, gotta, you can jump backwards, yeah, but you gotta make sure you're not jumping backwards right into a enemy. Okay. Or a wall. No. Or a wall, <laughs> yeah. Got ten, be careful. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, a minute and five seconds. Okay, let's play that again. Yeah, I mean, so the one thing that I'm really wondering about is I noticed that I kind of wish that the bolts that I was collecting were like, I kind of wish there was like some roguelike element, I guess you would call it, where I'm progressing, like even though I've died pretty quickly. Two games, I wish there was some kind of progression I was making from one game to the other, whether it be keeping, maybe not the bolts, but keeping something that I was picking up that would help me progress overall. Kind of like what I've done in uh, Zaxerion, you know, where you keep the Zaxerion games, and if you buy any ships, you keep the ships uh, permanently. I don't really see any kind of permanent upgrades that you're... Oh god, that was some bolts, I want to go back and try to get those. Yikes! There we go. Okay, so it looks like when you fill up your bolt meter, that's how you get an upgrade. That kind of makes sense. I actually like that. Increase pickup radius by 30%, increase knockback by 10%, increase damage by 1. Let's increase the pickup radius by 30% just because I know how awesome that feature is in Zaxerion when you buy that, the Valor ship. Mm -hmm. The Valorock ship. Yeah, Hattie loves that ship. Oh god, we got a different kind of enemy now, Hattie. We got a green enemy that's shooting at me. Holy cow. Yikes. Yeah, I want to get behind this barrel. Oh! The enemy shot my barrel, the little fucker. Right. Ah. Oh. Okay. Most of the barrels, the explosive barrels, can be shot by either you or the enemy. So we're starting... Yeah... So much like a platformer game, guys, where that's the one thing I don't really like that I can say. I mean, I, I understand why you're starting over every time you die, but imagine a platformer game or like an adventure game where, you know, if you die, it goes all the way back to the start again, and you never feel like you make any kind of progression at all. So I have so, a question. Did uh -huh. you save your, um, like your radius, like your pickup thing, or did that all reset too? Um... I don't know where you would check that. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be on a per game thing. Yeah, I'm sure that reset. I would guess. But... Move 15% faster. Stay invulnerable for longer after taking damage. Ooh, let's try that. So I can't get hit again. So once I take damage, I can't get hit again immediately, I guess. There we go. So I suck that in. Okay, so you can hit the the blue chest and gain health, but you gotta suck up that blue star. Oh god. Okay. Why am I not firing? Should be firing all the time, because it doesn't look like I ever run out of ammo. Fucking green bastard keeps shooting my explosive barrels that I need. Right here, I just don't want to blow myself up. Ah! No! Get back! Go! Go! <laughs> go! Go! Oh! Uh, damn it. This is pretty fun, I can't lie, guys. I died. Well, I'm <laughs> lasting longer and longer. First time was 53, then 56. Now, what is that, like a minute and 41 seconds? Yeah, 101 seconds would be a minute and 41. So I think that would be something I would do to the developer. Rather than showing 101 seconds, most people probably aren't going to know that that's like a minute and 41. I think I would convert that 100 seconds into like one, you know, and then a colon and then 41. So people can see, hey, I lost it two minutes and 41 seconds and I'll have to actually do the math. Because once you start getting up to like two, 300 seconds, yeah, it's going to be kind of hard for people to realize, hey, I lost it four minutes, you know, because 300 seconds would be five minutes. And most people are going to think that's like three minutes. No, 300 seconds would be five minutes. So I would convert those hundreds of seconds into, you know, actual minutes and seconds. 
That's one one suggestion I have for the developer. Okay. Yeah, we definitely started over because I don't have that in vulnerability anymore. Okay. Increase projectile size by fifteen percent or fifty percent. Ah! I'll walk right into that one. So I like that this is a little bit different than the other games like this that, um, you know, where you're just melee attacking, rather than you don't get to shoot. So this one's a little bit different in that way. Oh god. Oh no, that was a wrong turn, I think. I need health. Give me my health, see if you don't pick up that little blue thing, you don't get the health, oh. though. Oh. Oh. oh god. I jumped there, saved my ass. Jump! <laughs> Run fast away. So I feel like this is a game, the more I'm playing it right now, the more I'm liking it, to be honest. Okay. Pick up all these bolts everywhere. Yeah, I feel like this is a very casual kind of game. I feel like this is another one of those kind of games that you can just come home from a stressful day at work and kind of, you know, not have to think too much and just have a little bit of fun. Kind of like the reason I like this breakout kind of game so much, Addy, that I recently introduced you to. It's mm -hmm. kind of a game to come home and not have to. You don't. Have you know, it's not a like shit. Time. Yeah, it's not like you're just trying to figure out a. Oh, I just <laughs> killed myself. Damn it. Yeah, it still lasted a little bit longer again. So. The range on those uh, barrels is pretty good. So I wouldn't want to shoot the health thing right now because I would gain nothing from it. I want to save it at 100 health. I do like that all the enemies come at you from different angles and stuff like that, so you can never just completely kite them all. You know, get them all together in one direction. Yeah, so right. they're genuinely come at me in from different directions, so it makes it... You have to... You have to be on your toes as far as knowing which pathing to take. Depending on what's, what else is coming at you. Okay, so I can see right now that I really need, like, a you know, faster fire rate would be nice. So if I have that option, if they even have that option, faster fire rate would be amazing. Still that green thing. I hate those green things. They're shooting at me. Oh, God, like that. Little green bastards are... There we go. Okay, so we filled up the meter. Increased chance of critical damage. Increased damage by one scene. Vulnerable for longer. Take a damage. Let's increase the damage. Try right that. Oh, I thought that red thing was going to hit me there, didn't you? Yeah. It almost. It was getting you. What, how much, I wonder how much healing these blue things do. Oh, there's one I didn't pick up. Uh, 10 to 20. 10. 10? Well, I don't know, because you went, um, 100's the biggest you could do, so. Kind of hard to hit these things sometimes when the things are in right? the way. Yeah, because the things get between you and that barrel. Oh, huh. Damn. Keep your left mouse button pressed. I almost feel like an auto-fire, because you don't run out of bullets. It's not like my game is Xerion, where you do run out of ammo and you have to pick up ammo all the time. So I almost feel like auto-fire would be a, maybe a good option for this game. Oh, you were too close. Too close again. Damn it. I think if the developer would add an option in the settings so you could turn auto fire on, you always want to give players the choice whether they want to, you know, do something like that. I think choices, players always like choices. But yeah, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't give players an option for auto fire because essentially all you're doing is holding left mouse button down. So I feel like this game would definitely benefit from an auto fire. Um. That way people aren't having to hold their left mouse button in for, you know, three minutes, essentially. So what suggestions have I given the developer so far? Uh, auto fire as an option. Definitely make it an option. I wouldn't just do it. Uh, make it an option in the settings. I would probably default it to on and then let players turn it off if they want to. Um, 
I like the game so far. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I know there was another suggestion I gave the developer. Oh, converting the seconds you survived from like 220 seconds. Convert that into minutes for the player so they're not having to figure out, like, hey, how many minutes is that? That'd be nice. And that's it. So that, well, both of these things that I'm telling the developer are super easy changes to make. Increase projectile penetration by one. Up radius. But the knockback. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, I, when I had the opportunity to... Oh god, I walked right into a bunch of damage. I'm gonna die. <laughs> right. That was a bad move. That was a bad turn. Uh, I got 10 health. Uh, no. Oh. God damn it. So this game definitely has a, a nice addictive uh, quality you want to play again and again. The one thing that's missing from this game, another thing that's missing from this game that I wish it had, Eddie, is kind of like in Zaxerion and so many games like this where I think you might call it a roguelike. Not roguelike with a T, but roguelike. Uh, I think that's what it's called when you, even if you die, you gain some kind of progression. So if I pick up certain elements, you know, at least I pick up that and I'm progressing towards something, whether that be buying a new cat, you know, a new robo cat or whatever this thing is, or buying a new gun, uh, you know, that shoots faster or whatever. So maybe a shop where you can, a lot of these games have something where you can, you know, go to a shop or whatever and spend your gold. Maybe gold is what you want to use for your your progressive element. So if you pick up so much gold, then ah, right. Then at least you're progressing towards something and not just starting all the way over again from from the start. You know. So what's the M one? Uh, Next. That's so mouse. That's the left mouse button. Oh. Critical chance, sure. Yep, M1 would be left mouse, M2 would be right mouse, if you ever see that in a game. You were saying um, something, too, about having something for the right mouse button, because there isn't... Oh, yeah, 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 something... Know. Yeah, we were talking about that. We are looking at, like, having... Being able to tie the right mouse button into something would be cool. Uh, so, like, even there, like I said, I lasted 87 seconds. I, th I don't think most people are, you know, it's like, like almost a minute and a half. So if you converted that to 127, it's just an easier way for somebody to say, hey, I lost a minute and a half. Most people aren't going to think of 87 seconds like a minute and a half. They're going to think, oh, okay. It's just, maybe, you know. Maybe instead of doing the mouse button one for the mouse two, you would have, like, a shield protection. Oh, yeah, there you go. 30 seconds cooldown. Yeah, like there that. you go. Like a shield protection, yeah. That'd be cool. So add but a then right it has a cooldown like the jump back. Yeah, yeah, like a 15 second cooldown or 30 second cooldown or whatever, depending on how strong it is. I yeah. mean, I know that when you get bolts, it does do something similar, but yeah, for sure. Yeah, tying something. But yeah, I feel like there's really no reason why we don't have the right mouse button being able to do something. That good potential. Maybe right mouse button as well could be a grenade that you throw. You know, kind of like your barrels, but you can throw it right in front of you. And right. then it blows up a whole bunch of enemies. That might be cool. And maybe these things are pickups. So we're talking about, Addy's talking about maybe right mouse button is a uh, a shield. And I'm talking about how it could be maybe a grenade. Well, why not tie in some pickups that you pick up? You know? Right. Uh, and depending on what you pick up, whenever you pick up something, it's either a shielding with a right mouse button or a grenade or... You know, several other things. Maybe a lightning shot with your gun. You know, that shoots out lightning, that zaps everything, whatever. Uh, that would be cool. Increase projectile size by 50. Oh, wow, look at that. My, my bullet is a lot bigger now. You got a lot of gold pickups. Or not gold, but uh, bolts. Golden bolts, how about that? There you go. Just like the golden ticket. Oh, I like this bigger projectile. Let's see how it gets I like cornered how their here. Their heads and their eyes get bigger. <laughs> when you oh yeah. Oh. oh no! Phew. And God, I had that oh. jump there. That was cool. Oh God! Oh God! Oh. Ah, yikes! That went the wrong way. No! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! 
All right, Look guys. Look me over in the corner, telling you, get out of the corner, because, you know. All right, guys, we're going to play this one more game, one more time. I like this, guys. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong for $2. I mean, what do you think, Addy, from what you're saying? I think it's a good purchase. Yeah. There's a lot of potential, because it is an easy access, uh, you access. know, early access. That's an yeah, easy is. access, whatever. Easy. So, <laughs> easy, easy, whatever. It's easy <laughs> to access, yep. But yeah, I think there's a lot of potential for it to grow. I think it's one of those two that some people get frustrated with that. I'm always one that I like to play it a little bit. And I know some people are like, oh, there's nothing to do. Well, then keep it in your inventory and play it a little bit later when there's more added Content. to it. Yeah, there's a couple of updates of what happened. Yeah, absolutely. We don't need any health yet. I won't shoot that. I'm actually doing good. Let's see if I can beat my record, whatever my record is. Yeah. I don't think I've lost it. I want to say I stayed 127 was your so that would be Okay, 127, so that's 2 minutes and 7 seconds. Yeah, I would definitely convert that 200 seconds or 127 seconds into minutes and seconds. I think that would be a great change, and it would be super simple as well. I think it's kind of unfair the enemy's bullets move through through things, yeah. but mine don't. <laughs> right? Because I need mine to move through them to hit a fucking barrel sometimes. Well, I did that time, but it didn't move through any of them. Okay. Ooh. Thought I was dead. 91 seconds right now. Hey, you you fucking little bitch. There. Yeah, I definitely need this health there. Give me it. So the health is one reason why you would definitely want to do that increase a pickup radius. Right. Uh, you might miss it otherwise. You gotta pick up that little blue finger. Ah! No! Oh, I thought that thing was gonna <laughs> hit me. And I, I would have been dead too because I only have 10 health left. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, this is so close. This is intense right here, and this is why this game is worth it, guys. This right here is so close, and I just need a health pickup, like, right now. I am not even playing it. And, oh, oh, God. Move 15% faster. Size. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Ooh, there that was go. a nice yeah. recovery. I went from 10 to 50. That was a nice-ass recovery, and I'm moving faster now as well. Where do the green things go? Thank God the green things hurt. Get some more yeah, health. They're building up something else. <laughs> Yeah, definitely my <laughs> longest time here. Two and a half yep. minutes now. Yep, yep. Well, there, there they oh, are. Oh, God. Here's your little friends. There's my See, little ask friends. and you shall receive. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering where they went. Nope. Last one. All right. No, this is a fun game, guys. It really is. Looks like these things are moving faster now. Are they? Yeah, yeah. they are. They're getting mad, aren't they? Oh, God. God, no. Back, back. Oh god, come on guys. There's definitely more of them now too. Holy shit. I need to fill you're this You're about gear. to get your oh 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 come on no oh god you're in the corner. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh, oh my god. Shit. This is intense. Alright, what do we need here? Damage by one, increased critical chance by ten percent, projectile penetration. Let's try that one. I don't think I've tried that one yet. Yeah. Oh that's getting them a little bit better. Pick up all these bolts here. We're doing some damage now. Yeah, so the green things go away. Oh, I need this help. Sure. That one gave you 20. Did it? So it's kind of random, it looks like, then. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to swing back around this way and pick up my health. There we go. That gave you 20. Nice recovery from being a big cornered over there. Bolts up there by the grass. This is so satisfying, guys. I mean, I can't tell you how satisfying it is to go from being cornered back there, looking like I was about to die with 10 health, to now have like cleared them out with 90 health. Super satisfying. That's fun as shit. Um, do this one again. Didn't work pretty well for me. Oh shit! My lord, what is that? Oh my god! We got a boss here. This is super cool. 
It's trying to jump on me. Oh my god. No. No. Mommy. No. No, pink is bad. Pink is really bad. I hate pink. It is. I hate pink. No. <laughs> pink is bad. No. Oh, he hit, he hurt me. He hurt me. Okay, so he's doing damage to me. He's definitely hurting me. It's All not right. hurting you by a lot, though. Thank God. Yeah, not hurting me as much as you would think. Oh God, I walked right into that. If he... Oh. I like this because you can actually try to dodge him as he lands. Oops, but so he you... doesn't seem to be doing anything to you. Oh. Get some health. Ooh. Ooh. There Increase we go. Chain La lightning. Chain lightning by one. I don't have chain lightning. Do I? Not right mouse button. Oh. I don't know what chain lightning is. Hmm. Face bar or something? Mm -mm. No, see, we're not doing anything. Let me get cornered here. I like how we're only facing this one thing right now, though, because this is enough. I like how the game's not throwing well thought out game design here by the developer. It's you weird, know? though, because it doesn't look like you're doing any damage to it, though. I'm not. Yeah, I don't think I am. Oh, I oh, definitely did. Yeah, you were. He split up. He's just like a slime. And oh, split up. oh, okay. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, this is cool. You let's see if we can. Little... Let's see if we can fuck him up with this. Some of him. I think I hurt one or two of them. There's oh, lightning. There's Speaking of lightning, lightning, they have lightning. I got look at all these bolts I got from this guy. What the ah, fuck are these things? Ah. Yikes! What the fuck? <laughs> Like little ninja cats? What the hell was They're that? They're killing themselves to fucking try to blow me up. <gasps> They're little suicide bombers. Yeah, they are. They're little like the guys in uh, Minecraft, the green things that go in. What are they called? Uh, what are they? The Indo... No. Um, creepers. Creepers, yeah. They're like the creepers. That's what... Yep. Jay. Oh, look at it again. Right oh, God. I'm at 10 health again. Oh. Oh, that's well, good, though. I definitely improved my... Yeah, definitely, guys, to the developer. This right here, I mean, it's cool to see 385, but I definitely think you need to change this. It's super simple math, man. Simply divide this by 60, you know, take out whole minutes, and so this is, in this moment, this is actually 6 minutes and 6 minutes of 25 seconds. So this is 6 minutes and 25 seconds. That's a lot more understandable than 385 seconds. So I would definitely change that. That would be the first thing I'd change. And that's like a five-minute fix, even in your code. I don't care how bad you coded it, and I'm sure you haven't coded it bad. But change that to six minutes and 25 seconds, because that's a lot more understandable. 385. That's my biggest recommendation. The game, otherwise than that, is super fun. I, I like this one, guys. Uh, this one is super addictive. It has you wanting to play again and again. The so one thing we don't have in this game, though... And let me go ahead and quit this game. I don't see any kind of high scores. All right, guys. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Addy. She's had some technical problems. But, guys, Tekla here is uh, a great game. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. It is missing the leaderboard, so it doesn't show you the high score list in the game, which I would love to see. And if we look here at the scene page, it doesn't show any kind of leaderboards here. I definitely think this game needs leaderboards uh, for the competitive people. I know Addy's really competitive. I tend to be competitive. And it's just kind of nice to see where your high score ranks against all the other Steam players and against your friends as well. So to the developer, I would definitely add Steam leaderboards. That's a, you know, I think that's a must-have in my opinion. And then what about some Steam achievements as well uh, for the game? So for example, like maybe the first time I killed myself by blowing up a barrel, you know, it says you killed yourself. So I win the you blew yourself up achievement. Um, you know, after I kill a slime, you killed your first slime, or after I kill a hundred of these little purple, you know, whatever they are, uh, you killed a hundred of these, you know, you killed 200 green ghosts or whatever these things are. So different achievement achievements, uh, you know, after you pass 10,000 points, you get an achievement. After you pass a thousand points or whatever, after you lost five minutes, you get an achievement achievement. Uh, so different seam achievements that could be definitely fun. Uh, I think, uh, that would be cool. Um, and then maybe the only other thing I can think of that I could see is like maybe, you know, I kept progressing and I progressed to the slimes, for example. And I remember at one point I was cornered down here and I ended up uh, killing all these purple things and it almost felt like I moved to another stage. So maybe the developer needs to just add, hey, you've advanced to stage two. 
and just kind of have that come up in the middle stage one and then kind of fade out you know stage two stage three or whatever so you kind of know you know how far you're progressing in the game uh as far as a number uh and then like i said i hate to beat it uh beat like a dead horse or whatever but i would definitely change that 380 seconds or 120 seconds or however long you last i would definitely convert that two minutes and seconds that's a real easy thing to do and i think most of these things that i'm suggesting to the developers are pretty easy things to add to the game that would just take it over the top right now as it is guys with it missing the leaderboards and steam achievements and you know missing the things that i'm really suggesting to the developer uh as fun as the game is i think that it's really fun i'm gonna give this game uh i'm gonna give it an 8.5 i would give it an 8 but i think it's such a strong value at only a dollar 99 that i'm gonna up that score to an 8.5 so i'm gonna give this game an 8.5 if the developer adds things like steam achievements and steam leaderboards and you know does some stuff to maybe just give it a little bit more like maybe add the stages you know stage one stage two stage three so you can really feel that sense of progression I think that would help with that as well, showing that you're, you know, stage one, stage two. And there's plenty of time to have, you know, stage one kind of come up and maybe expand and get bigger and then fade out. Uh, there's plenty of time to do that after you kill the slime or after you kill all the green things or whatever before the slime comes in. It could definitely say stage one up here or whatever. Uh, stage two, stage three. That would help the player feel like he's progressing further. That's my suggestions for Tecla. I really like this game. I think it's a fantastic value even as it is. Uh, and that's why I'm giving it an 8.5. But this could definitely be a Zach's There's Any Gold if it just had leaderboards, Steam achievements, and a couple of these other things that I've mentioned. Uh, great job to the developer, uh, Phantom Touch. I really like this one. Uh, definitely gets a recommend from you guys, and I just think it could be a little bit more. It's really close. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zach's 39. Take care, everybody. Peace.